Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed this Zonzina tow hitch receiver. Some of the uh, receivers on the market, you've got to remove the whole rear bumper, and uh, that's a, just a pain in the butt. So uh, this receiver, you don't need to do that at all. You can just lift it up, put in the four bolts, and you're good to go. Let's check it out. A big thank you to Zomzima for providing the product for this video. This hitch receiver has a powder coated stainless steel construction. Everything you need to install is included with the kit. And the textured coating blends in nicely with the rear bumper. Please note this kit does not include a wiring harness. Just have to lift up the hitch receiver into place. I use my finger just to line up the holes and then put in the first bolt. If you angle it, you're able to get it around the muffler with ease. And from there, it's very easy to put in the remaining three bolts. And once the first two bolts are installed, the hitch receiver will actually hang on its own. Attach the included nuts and locking washers, and then tighten down all four bolts. Once you've tightened down the nuts and bolts, it's recommended to torque them to 110 foot-pounds. And for reference, I'm using an 18mm socket and an 18mm wrench. As you can see, the hitch receiver has a great finish and is almost identical to the rear bumper. I didn't need a wiring harness because my plan is to use this with a cargo carrier or a bike rack. And to finish it off, I have this two inch hitch receiver cover by Musclegy Auto. Not only does it look good, but it fits perfectly in the two inch opening. So there you go, really easy install. Just four bolts and that's it. Make sure you torque them down well, 110 foot pound of torque, and uh, you should be good to go. If you want to see more content like this in the future, Give us a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.